So holiday meals can be stressful and your oven's full 90% of the time and then you got all that messy cleanup. So I wanna show you some tips and some of these recipes I've been doing for years. This first one was near and dear to me because it belonged to my grandmother and so I'm happy to share this with you. We called it Mimi's Krusty Corn, but it's basically a corn pudding or corn souffle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in our mixer. We've got three cans of just regular whole kernel corn. And we're gonna add about two tablespoons of regular granulated sugar and then four eggs right in to the mixture as well. If you don't have a mixer at home, you can use a hand mixer or you can even just mix by hand. So we're gonna turn this on low just to get everything incorporated. All right, from there you wanna grab two or three sticks of butter and get that melted on the stove. And then we're gonna take some bread. Um, I'm just gonna cut mine into circles and we'll have those ready to go to put on top of our corn. This is the fun part. If you've got kids, this is a great opportunity for them to get their hands in butter and get all messy. So we're just gonna take the little rounds of bread that we have and just dip them on top and then just start placing them around our corn dish. And then that's all ready to go and we'll get it in our oven. It's gonna bake at 350 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes just until the top is nice and golden brown. So the holidays for me are just not complete without sweet potatoes. So we're gonna start um, with two cans of sweet potatoes, but we're gonna add those here to our mixer. And then we're gonna add a little bit of dark brown sugar to that, so probably about a fourth to a half of a cup of dark brown sugar, more if you like a little bit sweeter. And then again, we're gonna add four eggs to this. So we're gonna put this onto our mixer. So I'm just gonna take my mixture and just drop it right in there. Then we're gonna take some chopped pecans and just sprinkle those around the top. And then we're gonna take a little more of our dark brown sugar and sprinkle that on the top too, so we create a, a nice caramelized crust. And that's ready to go in the oven as well. That's gonna go in that same 350 degrees for about the same 30 to 45 minutes. No holiday meal is complete without a dessert. So we're gonna do a no-bake pumpkin cheesecake. What we're starting off with is two pounds of cream cheese. So you can buy them together, um, and we're gonna get those just kind of whipped up. We're gonna add a little bit of uh, confectioner sugar, and then just a little bit of whole milk to help kind of bring everything together. So at this point, we want to add our pumpkin. So we're using a canned uh, pumpkin pie filling here so that it's nice and smooth already. And we're gonna add a little bit of whipped toppings. So just scrape down our bowl, make sure everything looks good. So you can see it's nice and light. So we're gonna take this and just fill a pre-done graham cracker crust pie shell and get it filled up pretty decently there. So then we're gonna to top this again with some of our chopped pecans because pumpkin and pecans just go great together. So there you have it. Three simple, easy dishes with minimal cleanup, less than $40 to make all three. It can't get much better than that. And trust me, your family's gonna love it. So thanks for joining me in my kitchen. We look forward to seeing you down the road and happy Thanksgiving from all of us here at Northwest Arkansas Alive.